Ryan here with Prudential Pest Solutions, and I'm going to show you a bald face hornet nest treatment. But first, I'm going to show you some of the equipment that I'm going to wear um, because none of my other videos actually show me, um, and not that it's about me, but none of them show me in what I actually wear for protective equipment. So um, I'm going to show you uh, show you guys how I get suited up here, and we'll get this hornet's nest treated and removed for these people. So I have a thick set of coveralls that I put on. And this kind of minimizes the chance of um, getting stung. And I say minimize because, I mean, it's it's just a regular set of coveralls. Um, I can keep my boots on, zipper them shut there at the bottom. Every once in a while, I'll get a yellow jacket that kind of goes up my pants. Um, and then you'll see me do a uh, pest control jig <laughs> because uh, it, they'll tune you up when they get in there. Um, my Penn State hard hat, as always. And then I'm going to put my, uh, I have my, my product that I'm going to use for this case, which is uh, PTPI, which is an aerosol insecticide that kills them so quickly. And, and you'll see how fast this stuff actually works. And I have it in a little holster that I put on a belt just so it's easier for me because this, this project is actually um, on the second story. So we're going to need to climb onto a ladder and then get onto the porch roof to access this nest. So, you know, the more hands free I have, the better and safer it is. So I'm going to put this belt on. And I actually got this belt from uh, a fellow veteran, a colonel that we do some work for. It's an authentic uh, military web belt. So it didn't fit him anymore. So he said, hey, do you want a belt? And I said, yeah, I could find a use for that. So that's what I use it for. Um, and then I got this, uh, this B-Veil. So it just goes right over my hard hat there. And then it kind of cinches closed at the bottom. And, uh, and then I wrap it around myself and give it just a little, just a little tie uh, just to keep everything tight. Now, none of this equipment is foolproof. Um, none of this is professional beekeeping stuff. I like to wear thicker stuff because I'm dealing with yellow jackets and hornets, which are not honeybees. Um, they're, they're way more aggressive. So, um, And then my gloves there, you can't really see them, but I use a, a thick set of long welding gloves just because they're leather, super thick, and it allows me to kind of handle anything I need to handle. So here's the nest here we can see up top. And it is a bald-faced hornet's nest. Now this project has taken place in middle of July and the nest isn't huge yet. I would say it's about the size of a volleyball. Um, had they let this go, it would have easily been the size of a basketball or bigger. Um, and we can see it's the middle of the day, it's hot out. So the workers are out, you know, you can see the, the some of the workers coming and going, some of them working on the outside of the nest itself and that's a paper nest. And if you're curious on how they actually make their nest, we have a really cool video on how hornets and yellow jackets make their nest and you can check our YouTube channel for that. So I'm just getting a close up because not many people get to be up close and personal with these guys like, uh, like we do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my applicator rod off my PTPI aerosol and I'm gonna just inject right into the main opening. And what happens is, is this stuff works so quickly that they end up dying almost immediately in the nest. And, uh, and what that allows me to do then is it allows me to safely remove the nest, clean off the house a little bit um, so we don't have that, that you know, ugly nest hanging out up there. And then, uh, and then I'll treat the area on the outside of the house then with a, uh, a liquid insecticide, which is going to take care of any of the foragers that were out and about. So as a, as a hornet, and really any bee or wasp, um, they constantly have workers coming and going, um, bringing back resources for the nest. And those re th those workers, rather, are going to come back and their nest is going to be gone. And uh, they won't be able to rebuild that nest at all. But I want to put a residual insecticide up there just so when they come across that surface, it kills them. And it gives our homeowner um, much faster relief. So when we leave here today, obviously this nest is going to be removed. The house is going to be clean and treated. And, uh, and they're not going to have any more bald face hornets for this season on the outside of the house there. So realistically, was this really, was this nest really hurting anybody? Probably not. Um, however, if they wanted to open up the window, uh, do some work outside or anything like that, they're going to come up, you know, they, you definitely have a larger potential to have uh, a bald face hornet kind of tattoo you up a little bit and they do not uh, play nicely like honeybees do. So um, we're just cleaning off the area here. And then when I get back down, I'm going to show you what the inside of this nest looks like with some of the brood cells, the inner workings of the nest, um, and that sort of thing. I will always say that um, if you're going to be up on a roof wearing your full bee suit, you got to be extra careful. I know that sounds like something OSHA would say, but but really, I mean, your depth perception's off. You're wearing bulky equipment. Um, this is a somewhat steeper pitch roof, and uh, you got to be really careful. So um, here's a bunch of dead ones that made it into the gutter. Um, so we can see a little bit closer up of, of how that PTPI affects them. 
Um, it works very quickly. So we're going to go ahead and safely get down off this ladder. And we'll take a look at the inside of this nest here. So it is a paper nest, and uh, like I said, we do have another video that shows you how they make that, but essentially what they do is they, they chew at wood, whether it's bushes, whether it's your fence, um, but they make these kind of streaks in the wood and they kind of chew that up into a pulp and then that's what, they, that's what makes their nest, the outer coating of it. Um, the inside we can see it's just a single comb uh, with a bunch of brood, all that white caps and stuff is the brood cell. So um, if, if you have a so if you have a hornet issue, give Prudential Pest Solutions a call or text us at 484-401-4361. We are the experts at treating, removing, and preventing hornets, yellow jackets, bees, and wasps from your property. So go enjoy the outside again. You can also vis visit us online at prudentialpest.com and also visit our YouTube channel, uh, Prudential Pest, where we have a ton of videos of me removing, treating, and preventing pests in and around people's properties.